Okay, the last section. It's time to add some text. There's a large letter A button over here. Go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to click in the corner of my border all the way over to here and down to my mountains. And I'm going to type in navigations. So this is, you know, would be the name of my business um, if I had business in navigations it would be the name of my business and so when I highlight over it I can choose a different number oddly enough small numbers go smaller who knew so let's try a bigger number and the other thing is you've got a whole uh, list of different fonts here to choose from so you can make it look silly-ish uh, I prefer something a little bit more professional so. Uh, you could go with something bold like that. Seems a little bit on the too bold side. Uh, you could go with something regular like Tahoma, which is a very common one. Uh, this is a little bit too informal, you can tell just by the way it crosses. So. So there's, uh, this is Lucida Sands, which is another common one. And if I click to center it, and I can change a bunch of things about the spacing of it. So here's one of them. I can space it out more here using this arrow. Um, oh, spacing between words, right. Don't have any words, only one. So that can be zero. And then these ones over here. Again, I can let that one cruise. And um, so now, what I want to do, now that I have navigations, oh, did I really? Oh, yes, I did. I put navigations on the airplane <coughs> layer. Silly, silly, silly. So uh, let's add the text and then go to this. So layer, move selection to layer above. So now it's on the text layer. So if I do that, it goes away. Do this, the airplane layer goes away. So we'll lock the airplane. We're in the text layer mode, and I'm going to add a shadow. So if I remember correctly, under filters, so I've got, so, okay, right. So the letters are highlighted. You can see here, if you don't know how to do that, you just put it away. Choose the top black arrow, click on the letters. Alright, so we go to filters, and there's one of them called shadows and glows, and one called drop shadow, which is awesome. So in this little drop shadow thing, I can click on live preview. Hey, what a great idea. And now, as I change the numbers, so this started out with a 2, so it sort of almost blurs it right out. Okay, so that was interesting. All right. So this is set to 60, so I can increase that. What change does it make? Hmm, not very much. Let's try setting it to 90 and see what changes. Ooh, oh, it makes the shadow darker. All right, let's try setting it to 30. Enter. Ooh, it almost disappears. All right, so I understand what 60 is all about now. 60, enter. So the horizontal, so it's at 3. Let's change it to 6 and let's see what happens. Oh, it moves it over. Oh, I like that. Let's see if we do the same thing. Will this move it down? Six. Enter. And it moved it down. Oh, okay. Now let's see if we blur it a little bit more. Maybe like a five? Nope, too far. How about three? Oh, that's better. And, hmm. Seems a little bit, just a little bit too big. Let's, let's change it down to five. And five. Oh, that's nice. And then let's darken this up. There. Okay. So, text, you can choose your own font. And I'm going to apply that. And close. Okay. So, there's our text layer. Okay. And we can lock that. Now, you know what? Now that I look at that shadow, hmm, you know, much, much, much too much. 
So let's go back and see if we can change that off. How about if I change it to 5? Oh, let's go with that. Oops. I'm going to have to undo that, aren't I? Hmm. Undo. 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 Undo drop shadow. So, if there's a better way to do a drop shadow, or undo a drop shadow, you'll have to let me know. I thought there would be a nice little layers thing, but it didn't seem to pop up. Okay. So, here we are. Do it again. Filters. Shadows. Drop shadow. The live preview. It was at 60 before. Yeah, that's better. Apply. Close. And your shadow is good. So now, oops, there we go. We can zoom back and take a look at the whole thing. So there's our business card. And we're all ready to save it. So I'm just going to save it one more time. And we'll show you how to shrink it in the next video.